6 a.m. West End Pole, Palmerston North. Every training session, every lap, every turn is kind of like just perfection. I'm a perfectionist, definitely. Milan Glintmeyer is just 14, but she's here seven days a week, two hours a day, doing at least 240 lengths per session. It's every little kid's dream to represent their country, and it's really awesome that I'm being able to do it at such a young age. And she's so good, she's already taking to the world stage. One of seven New Zealanders selected to compete at the World Junior Champs in Israel in September. Milan Glintmeyer. This is her, qualifying in April, winning the 100 metre backstroke at the New Zealand Open Swimming Champs. But a very, very good time for Milan Glintmeyer. And just quietly, that made her the fastest 100 metre backstroke female in the country. What was that feeling like when you touched the wall, turned around and saw how good you have done? Emotions basically like overcome me. Um, I was so happy that I didn't realise that I had done the time. I looked at someone else's time first actually and then realised that it wasn't mine and then I saw the one next to it and it felt really good. Um, and to go on to that World Juniors qualification was unbelievable. Big PB for you. Huge PB, I took off like a second and a half today. So amazing race. Fast as it was, Milan's time was still five seconds off the world record held by Australian Kaylee McEwen. But Kaylee was 19 at the time, and Milan is just 14. Well, it's a world record, a world record. How excited do you feel for the potential to, you know, beat a world record like that? I definitely know that I have heaps to improve on, and since I've got a lot of time on my hands, I know that I can spend a lot of time perfecting and like everything leading up to it. I truly believe like if Milan wants to go all the way to the Olympics, she, she can do that. And Milan's coach, Tracy Brewer, knows. She represented the Cook Islands at the Rio Olympics 2016. She's just an extremely talented young lady. The thing that makes her different is that she is really, really focused on all the details. So she'll work on all of the, um, the skills and the activities that she needs to, to try and um, make it better, make it faster. So that's the difference between her just being super talented and her actually getting there. So Milan, try and use your hips a bit more. Okay, your hips are just dropping a little bit. What's it like coaching Milan? It's kind of like a coach's dream. If you could have like 100 Milans, it would, everyone would be as talented as she is. Uh, Tracy is an amazing coach. She's been able to give me things that I haven't been able to have in life, and she's always so supportive of what I'm doing. Milan, just try not to over-rotate your right, your right hand. Yeah. I've got so much to learn from her, so it's real cool. So this is the Monotu Swimming of the Year trophy. Um, I got it for the 2022 season. To be kind of the main representative of Swimming Monotu means a lot because they support me. The motivation behind all of it, Milan's parents, Nikki and Nathan. Nikki represented New Zealand in water polo, so she also understands what it takes. Particularly, Case, when you do your freestyle, can you make, just watch your left hand when you come out to breathe, you're doing this. You're sliding out. And this is Milan's brother, Case. He's just 12 and already showing big promise. I'm going to the Queensland Champs in December. And next year, I'm hoping to go to the National Age Groups. The National Age Groups, or NAGs, are the races for national titles in respective age groups. Case is already fast enough but at 12, he's just too young to officially compete. He is a dark horse, I tell you now. <laughs> he is one to watch out for. At 12, he came back from the junior festival and said to me, Tracy, I want to qualify for NAGS. And I said to him, but you won't be old enough to go. And he goes, that's okay, I'm still going to qualify for NAGS. And I said to him, okay then, 
And he went and smashed up four, five, or six times to go to Nags, even though he wasn't old enough to go. So in his head, he's he's ready. Like as soon as he turns 13 and he can go to those national age groups, he's ready to go. He wants to rock it out. Name the sport and they can play it. Water polo, netball, triathlon, and Case is a keen footballer as well. She's really cool and I would like to be like her when I, maybe one day. He does stuff that normal 12 year old kids wouldn't be able to do, which is really cool to see. Can't wait to see him kind of develop that strength over time. My dream is to be on the same team as him and go overseas. It would be great to share the Glintmire um, name out on a bigger stage. Milan's swimming idols are all Māori. There's Erica Fairweather, Maya Rasmussen, Lewis Clairbert. It's been really cool to watch them through their journey as well as mine, because every kid looks up to them. I think Lewis is the way he's held himself and the way he's developed in the pool. He wasn't an early peaker, and so for him to peak late and still do so well is pretty inspiring for everyone. I think it's amazing that Milan is a multi female athlete because, especially in swimming, super underrepresented. Um, and I think it's just disappointing that it's not more accessible to Māori and Pacific Island kids because they're super talented. The commitment for parents is huge. Swimming training before and after school, and that's not including all the other sports. But Nathan and Nikki are all in. She drives me to swimming every day, so does my dad, but mostly mum. <laughs> and she takes me to all my meets, gets me where I need to be. And she's just done stuff that I didn't notice that she did. And I've kind of just noticed now that she's had a big impact on how I hold myself as a person, which is really cool. Her iwi, Ngai Tahu, are chipping in to help fund the $10,000 trip to Israel but Milan and her Juano are raising most of it. Well, we've got lots of ideas to what we can do, but one of our, some of our main ones are we're selling cookies. There's a lot of fundraisers and also give a little page where people can donate if they want to support. So young, so much promise and such composure in and out of the pool. You know, it's pretty scary to be this fast as quickly, I gotta say. But um, just even in my race, I can see so many kind of little details that I need to work on and they'll all improve my time. And so I'm not too worried about that. Olympics is the biggest goal, um, but I've got lots of mini goals to lead up to that. <laughs>